Uh, that that brings us back to the acting now. So so how is it? You know, uh, how how are you getting ready for being an actor after a twenty year break, right? So, oh dear. Uh, in certain aspects, technically, you never really stopped being an actor. As you said, you were always performing and communicating. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how yeah. You, like, let's just say, how are you finding the return? Well, it's uh, it's, it's, it's quite daunting. I, I mean, first of all, what I'm trying to do is, you know, kind of like, you know, polish my craft and my skills. So I'm, I'm working a lot on monologues and again and again and trying to make tapes and trying to, you know, uh, yeah, because you have those tools and they're sitting there and, you know, they're, they're, they're now mine, they're a bit rusty. So, <laughs> you know, so trying to, you know, bring them back to date. One thing, uh, also for me, a big concern is actually, is that, you know, not say yes to anything and everything. So I have said, I have said some no's to stuff coming my way because for some reason I felt like, you know, I don't know, Either I didn't want to do them for a reason or they were not good enough. They weren't good for me. Now they weren't good. Maybe they were nice you know, jokes for someone else, but not for me. So I'm trying to, to actually, you know, yeah, not be greedy in the sense I'll do anything. Just give me a job and I'll do it. Try and do things that I think, okay, you know what? I could do that and I could enjoy it and I could bring something. In. I mean, you know, <clears throat> it could be constructive. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's one thing, yeah, and uh, and, and as, as well, for my main concern is, you know, because I have this uh, accent that is not British, you know, uh, it's a bit, you know, all over the place, so it's just trying to see, okay, how do I make myself relevant, because I'm not going to be the, you know, the guy in the neighborhood in Coronation Street, or, you know, yeah. or Enders, I'm not, I, I, will, I might be the guy, you know, if they bring the Greek guy or something in the plot, you know, I might be that. Is there not a series that there is the Doros, I think it's called? There's... The Doros, yeah, that was a You know, people, some of the people playing there are people I knew from Greece, actors. All right. Uh, okay. But, you know, that, so that, it, th you know, things have to happen, uh, you know, but I have a really good agent here. I'm trying to also put myself out there for agents in Greece that do international things. So I've approached some of them you know, things I've done and my CV and stuff, so waiting to hear from there. So for me, it's pretty much the biggest challenge is to market myself adequately. So, you know, know exactly who I am and what I bring on the table. Know what, you know, gap is out there, who I can be, uh, and try and, and try and reinvent myself, you know, to, to make me relevant at this uh, age, uh, you know, with this being non-British, make it relevant to a British market. Yeah. Uh, so, it, 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 and that for me takes a lot of thinking, but I find it very exciting as well. Um, so a, 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 a one decision I've made is I'm not gonna try and, you know, learn, you know, a perfect British accent and then try and recreate British types because I think it's going to, I don't know, maybe someone can do it. And I, you know, I take off my hat, but knowing me and knowing how Greek I am, you know, I think that it would be really hard to do so. So uh, I leave that to the English actors that are doing it great and it's their mentality, their culture, you know, their way of communication. They can, and I'm trying to bring something else on the table that will complement that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm I'm seeing myself as a complimentary dish, you know, right. that will fill in well with the other dishes. I don't want it, you know. Uh, so that's the thing, you know, that is, and of course I had to do with my, with, with my, with my husband, with Matthew, you know, conversation about, you know, trying some more, you know, English monologues. Uh, and, but I, I, and I, I was, and for me, I have a clear, very clear vision of what I want to achieve. I don't want to become, you know, I don't want to be on East Andrews, uh, pretending I am English because I'm not. So I have to find other ways to actually relate to the audience of East Andrews or Coronation Street or to a theater audience even more uh, by bringing on the table who I am, my truth, my truth and my accent is part of my truth and I can work on some, you know, bits of it as time goes by. But still, you know, I don't want to be something that is completely outside me, you know, I uh -huh. believe in, act in acting, I believe, you know, for me, great actors are the ones that, you know, do different types of roles, but they always bring their truth in those roles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And I think there's a space, you know, you can you can go out of range and will not, you know, your truth not really meeting those, the, 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 the role. And I don't know, maybe some people with just mere technique could do it. But for me, it's always Yanni, me has to be in it. Yeah, you know. they, yeah, they can't really, it's still going to be you. You just, it's different versions of you. Like it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, so yes, it's, Polish my my act, <laughs> and then try and see how my act can be relevant to a UK market.